In this AS Computer Science video, we're going to take a look at doing a trace table for assembly language. So you're going to have something that may look like this. This is from a past exam. So we have a set of addresses here, and we have a set of instructions, and then these numbers are the address of what the instructions are acting upon. Um, so you'll see LDD, CMP, and you'll get a sheet that looks like this. You are not expected to memorize all of this. You will have a reference sheet that looks very similar to this, and you need to be comfortable with doing this. You don't wanna say, oh, well, I'll have a reference sheet, it'll be fine. The more you do it, the easier it gets. So in our first instruction, in line 200, it says to load up the accumulator, into from address 365. What's an address 365? That is a one. So that's what LDD 365 was. Direct addressing, we loaded the contents of the location at the given address to the accumulator. What's at 365? One, and we put it into the accumulator. The next one is 201, CMP. I look on my chart. CMP says compare the contents of the accumulator with the contents of the address. So my accumulator is currently the value of one. I compare that with 366, which is three. They are not equal. Because line 201 runs, I'm gonna put that into my trace table. Nothing else updates. The next one is line 202, which is JPE. Following a compare instruction, jump to the address if the compare was true. Well, one was not equivalent to three. Did this line of code just run? Yes, it did. So I put that on my trace table, line 202. I am not jumping to 209 because it was not equal. We look at the next one, INC, increment. Add one to the contents of the register, accumulator or index register. Well, it tells me we want to do that to the accumulator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the accumulator. That is address 203. I'm gonna do what it said, which was add one to the accumulator. My new accumulator value is now two. I move to the next one, STO. I look for that. Store the contents of the accumulator at the given address. This is where it can get a little tricky because when you're looking at your sheet here, you're gonna be saying, oh, I need to update it. But if you're always looking at this and not the new values, you can make a uh, mistake. So what I would do is, we're gonna store it at 365. I, on my paper, I would cross out the one and I would update it to two because that will allow me to easily see it. Also, I need to put that on my trace table. Instruction 204 and 365 is now the value of Two, moved on to the next line. Speaking of move, we have MOV. Move the contents of the accumulator to the given register, which is the index register, which means I'm gonna cross out the value of the index register. I'm gonna update it with the value of two. I document that on my trace table. Line 205 just went. My index register is now two. I look at line 206, which is LDX 365, index addressing. Form the address from the address, 365, plus the contents of the index register. 365 plus two is address 367. Copy the contents of this calculated address to the accumulator. So line 206 just ran. I'm gonna do what it says, which was to copy the contents of 367 to the accumulator. Next, I look at 207, which is out. Output to the screen, the character who's asked key code value is stored in the accumulator. Well, I know that 65 is stored in the accumulator. Yep, right here, the accumulator is 65, which means I'm gonna output character A. So address 207 just went, I'm gonna document that. What did 207 tell us to do? It told us to output the character and we're outputting A. I'll look at 208, which is a jump instruction jump instruction, jump to the given address. This means I'm gonna to jump to 200. 208, this address did run. I need to document that on my trace table. So I document it, that's it. Nothing else updates. So then I start over at 200 LDD 365. Now, this is why we crossed out the old value because now the new value was updated to two. So we're gonna um, load two to the accumulator. So 200 runs, two is loaded. Now, when you look at the next line, CMP, 
366. We're comparing the accumulator, because remember, compare the contents of the accumulator, which was 2, with the, with the contents of the address. I'll look in 366. 2 is not equivalent to 3, but the comp compare instruction ran. I document that. 201. 202. We jump if the compare is equal. 2 is not equivalent to 3, so there is no jumping here, but that line of instruction did run. I document it. 202. Now I look at 203. We're back to incrementing the accumulator. Well, the accumulator, we're going to increment by 1. So 203 ran. What was the in the accumulator last was 2. Now it has the value of 3. I look at 204, and 204 says, hey, we're going to store the contents of the accumulator at the given address. Well, I had a previous value. I updated it to 2. Now we're taking the accumulator, which is 3, and putting it into 365. So on my paper, I'm just going to cross out this 2, and I'm going to put a 3, just so I can quickly check and see, and then I document that on my trace table. Line 204, inside 365, I put the value of 3. So it started at 1, it changed to 2, now it's at 3. So it's very important you don't look at these numbers up here. You look at the most recent value. So I continue with my program. We move uh, MOV. We're moving the contents of the accumulator to the index register. What was the contents of my accumulator? It was 2, but now it's, uh, now it's 3. The index register is 3 because the contents of the accumulator, which was 3, has been moved to the index register. So Line 205 updates our index register to 3. Okay, we keep going. 206, LDX 365, LDX, index addressing. Form the address from the address, 365, plus the contents of the index register. What's the contents? 3. So we are loading the value of 368, which is the value 66. So 206 runs. And we're going to update our accumulator to 66 because what is the most recent value of 368? That is 66. So then 207 says, hey, output to the screen, the character. What was our accumulator value? It was 66. I checked my ASCII code table. The ASCII code 66 is equivalent to B. I document that on my trace table. Line 207 runs. What did 207 tell us to do? It told us to output B. All right. 208 says, hey, we're going to jump to 200. Because this address runs, we're going to document it. 208 runs. We jump back to 200. We have direct addressing. Load the contents of the location at the given address to the accumulator. So I'm going to load up 365. What is the most recent value of 365? That is the 3. So 200 runs. I put 3 in my accumulator. Then we're looking for line 201. That is the compare. We're comparing 366, the address 366, with the value of 3. And 366 is 3. 3 and 3 comes out to true. But before I do that, I need to document that address 201 executed. So I write that down there. Now 202. Remember, following a compare instruction, instruction jump to the address if the compare was true it was true and because 3 the accumulator is equal to 366 in the previous instruction we're going to jump down to 209 however i first i need to document that this address executed so i put that in my trace table what is next i jump to 209 209 tells me i got to end the program and return the control to the operating system i document that 209 and we are done yes you will have a row left over and yes this is 100 percent uh, correct you may have one or two rows left over if you check the mark scheme you'll notice that they do not have an extra row but if you count the number of rows you'll see it is identical to the number of rows that you have used if you have any questions please post a comment below if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video